We are looking ahead to a hot weekend, at least one of the days in particular. But yeah, and in general, a, a hot trend, at least for a several day window there, Peter. Yeah, there should be three straight days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, where we're definitely a lot warmer than we have been the last few days, where numbers have basically been in the lower 60s. It's a 20 degree jump from here to then or more. So let's talk about it. In fact, are, any, are there any records in jeopardy? Well, yeah, the last couple of days we were below normal. You can see the normal high is 71. We're going to be much higher than that, though. First off, the low Saturday morning will be where the normal high typically is. Not shown here. Friday should be in the upper 70s to lower 80s. Not a record. But the warmest low on record for Saturday is in jeopardy. And we're not too far away from the record high Saturday and the record high Sunday. But keep in mind, after we get through a summer soiree, a surge of summer weather for this weekend, numbers go back to where we were today for Monday. Well, the rain we had earlier, gone on the fossil service experts live triple Doppler radar, and we're getting some breaks of sun already now. And since the sun doesn't go down until almost 830, expect a mix of clouds and sun through sunset and a fairly quiet overnight cool. We should be in the upper 40s to low to mid 50s. Then tomorrow, Remember, we're warmer in the afternoon. Expect a combination of sun and clouds. Now, having said that, there is a system nearby. It will trigger at least an opportunity for a few of us to see a passing scattered shower or thunderstorm. Not an all day rain tomorrow. Just that opportunity. The best chance, I think, is around late morning, midday, early afternoon in that window, let's say 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. If there's going to be a shower or thunderstorm, that's the best chance. High temperature tomorrow. Notice upper 70s to lower 80s, upper 70s for the hill towns, lower 80s for the lower elevations. And the same idea here as well over the Finger Lakes. Also notice the winds get pretty gusty, but it's from the warm direction, the southerly wind. You can see the upper 70s to near 80 from Norwich to Utica and Camden, as well as the shoreline of Lake Ontario. That southerly wind that will not allow a lake breeze. So Oswego, Fairhaven, Moon Beach, all just as warm. Beyond that, what's next? Remember, we showed you that very warm number for Friday night, Saturday morning. There it is. Even the coolest countryside is only in the mid 60s. Remember, Saturday is likely the very warm to hottest with, I think, at the very least, upper 80s to near 90 everywhere other than the shoreline of Lake Ontario. We do need to be weather aware at the very end of the day for a shower or thunderstorm. You see it right here. I'm forecasting Syracuse to get to 92. Sunday, still very warm. Now, yes, I have mentioned a chance of a shower thunderstorm Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but the best chance for widespread thunderstorms, I think, is Sunday afternoon. We're certainly going to watch each and every thunderstorm to see if any warnings pop up. And there you go, noticeably cooler for Monday, like today, lower 60s. Stanley Law Skywatch. I know it looks a little ominous, but there are breaks of sun in those clouds that you see over downtown Syracuse. Now back inside.